Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to LitCode. In this video, we are going to learn how to write the step definition file and as well as we are going to write all the selenium codes. Let's get started now. So let me delete the previous code. Now let's go to the runner file and here I'm going to keep it like try run equal to two. true. That means we are going to generate the code snippets from the login.feature file. Okay, so let's go and run this now. And here you can see like we got uh, it says like undefined scenario. It should actually define the scenario name. Uh, let's go to the login dot feature and here okay, let's go and run this one more time. Let's check. Yeah, so basically that's the spacing issue. So now if I go up here, you can see like, uh, again, it says like undefined, but it should be actually defined. Like it should come with a scenario name. If you go to the test ng console here, you can see like login should be success. That is our scenario name and book cart application test is our feature name. Uh, maybe the steps are undefined. So that's why we are getting undefined. Let's go and copy paste this one. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to copy all the codes, all the snippets, and I'm going to navigate to my login steps. I'm going to paste it here. Then probably Control A, Control I to do the indentation, and Control Shift O to do the import. So here you can see like we got given, then, and when. Okay, but if you see in the login dot features here we are using this and right but there is nothing called like and even if you use given when and then or but any annotation here that will work fine okay but just for readability when we are writing the feature file we should follow the same if you want to change it manually you can do that like instead of here you can select at the rate and and that should work fine okay but not necessary just in case if you want uh, probably can do I'll just do it for this feature file or this step definition file maybe in future I will skip this one okay it will work anyways so that's not really a problem now let's go and delete this one uh, okay And similarly, we'll just copy this and we'll replace all with nothing. Okay. So that's it. We are pretty clean now. Okay. Now we got this. Now we are going to write the, all the Selenium code. I believe already, you know about the Selenium. You should be knowing the, by this time. So let's write the code very quickly. So for the demo purpose, I'm going to use this bookcard.azurewebsite.net. Let's copy the URL first. And here I'm going to declare my driver, which is going to be, let's make it like web driver for time being. Uh, where is web driver? Yeah. So web driver driver. And here in the first step, I'm going to create the object. So driver equal to new Chrome driver, then followed by driver dot get the URL and uh, you should navigate. Okay, so this is where we have na navigated just for in confirmation. I'll just print the title Okay, now we are going to click on this login button. So here is the login button. Let's go and inspect this one And if I go to let text path, I'm just going to use it. So here we can see like we have a span text equal to login and I'm going to do the click action. So let's copy and paste over here. And we should import the by control shift O to do the import. And I'm going to insert my username here. Let's go and inspect this one. So this one is basically an input field, right? So if I go and inspect, and this is the one. 
so here we have the CSS like form control name equal to username I'm going to use the send case and this is my test data so I'm going to copy and paste over here okay just for readability yeah similarly I'm going to give my password so let's go and inspect this one and here also send keys and here we are going to pass this one okay now if you see here it says like pass then followed by uh, then followed by int within the curly braces because here we are passing this pass one two three as a number so it, it's considering that to be parameter we'll learn about the parameter concept in the next video so as of now i'm just going to copy and paste the value as it is okay and here i'm going to remove this parameter for now and within the send case i have to pass my actual test data which is i believe pass one two three let's check this one so pass one two three four yeah login okay uh, it's correct only okay let's go and log out so here the password is pass one two three four all in small okay and by the way you can create your own account and you can just uh, practice based on this application so let's go and click on this login button so here it's a button actually and it has called primary let's go with the xpath um, it should have a text i believe but it's the button actually if you want to take the text here it is which is kind of duplicate so what we'll do we'll just copy this and we'll change as per our requirement slash dot dot which will focus to the button so here like two or also i can use the last function anyway it's fine let's go with this so i want to do the click action so driver dot find element then followed by by dot x path followed by dot click not clear it should be click okay cool okay then it says like login should be success so once we do the login uh here you can see like oh, we got this name right so tony let's go and uh inspect this one this is the account circle and this the this is the text we are going to get like here only we have this ottoni um this is actually icon this is the mat icon this is another icon and this text is within this particular or i can say from the button okay it's a bit confusing but let's go with the uh, span tag here so here we have something like this one let's copy this and i want to use the get text so let's do that and this is going to return me a string so i can use like control dot to store that and then i'm going to say uh, we can write the asset test ng asset directly here but just for now just to make sure it's working fine i'm going to uh, write the says out this statement okay so that's it we are pretty much done this is how we have to write our selenium code which is pretty good and in the last step i'm just going to use the driver dot quit it should not be used here directly but um, for time being it's fine i believe so later on we can change that as well okay so uh, let me give you one glimpse so this is how we have to write our selenium code that's really easy you already know i believe and for time being i'm also going to add the uh, timeout and maximization so drive dot manage and this is going to give me the manage and from the manage i'm going to add the implicit wait it's just going to be like 10 seconds that is pretty much fine for this application and also i'm going to manage dot window dot maximize this one okay 
cool now let's go and run this so within your runner class make sure you are going to make it as false and let's go and run this now yeah it got failed because uh, session not created the version of chrome driver supports only 102 but in my case the driver is a uh, driver i have to update actually so this is like your chrome driver 106 i believe now let's wait until this got updated so if you see the error message you will understand so the, the version of chrome driver only supports chrome driver uh, 102 whereas the browser is now like 106 i believe so let's go and download that one so chrome driver download go to the first link and here we got this 106 not sure if it's 106 or what okay let's relaunch and check yeah it's 106 so let's go and download that particular version i'm going to download it for the win 32 and i have kept somewhere in the drivers i believe so here is my folder drivers and i'm going to delete the existing one let's save it there and go and show in folder okay so if i go and delete this driver i am not able to delete because it's running in the background so I can bring up my command prompt and I can use the task skill slash f slash im slash chrome driver If you're confused confused with what I'm doing, um, please make sure you have watched all my Selenium tutorial. There I have explained all this stuff in detail. So if you are a bit confused, then anyways so let's go and run this now it should work fine i believe let's go and run as test ng test one more time okay, it's running with the chrome 106 it should get maximized yeah so it's logged in and uh, da, 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 we got it passed okay now if you see here in the uh get text basically um this is the title actually this is the book cut the page of the title and the another uh, so this out statement is basically like account circle or Tony and this one. So we are expecting only this or Tony, not this one and not this one. So we should find a better way to write that. We'll do that maybe in next video. And here once we defined all the steps, you can see like we are not getting that undefined uh, things. And also here in the run scenario, you can see like login should be success. That is my scenario name. And then book cart application test is my uh, feature finally okay one pass no failure no skip okay so that's it i hope you understood now how really the cucumber works okay so it's very easy actually if you see what we have done so far in this four video we just created one runner file where we will say like cucumber options and we'll say like where's my feature uh, and glue only these two are important okay other than this these are like your optional if you want you can use it if you don't want don't use it and within the steps what we have done like from your feature file we have written everything in a steps right so converting each steps to a method and within that just write your selenium code that's it very simple thing okay but of course there are a few things more to learn like the hooks um reporting and writing the assert we'll talk about that um you know in our upcoming videos okay so that's it for my side that's it for my side thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comments or in the discord Tada, bye bye take it